We return now to the second part of the interview where CCTV's James Chow asked him about this crisis and how it's affected ties between Malaysia and China. I've got to know many Chinese uh, people, of course not 1.4 billion. That's why I'm trying to reach them through CCTV and through, through you, James. Uh, basically, there's nothing very different between us. But it is sad that we, we are talking like this. We are looking at this in, big, in, 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 in depth through a tragedy. Do you think that what you want and what these families want are pretty much the same? What I was told years ago uh, in Mandarin, woman, tosa, yi charan, that we are all just one family. You said that you wanted to use this platform to speak directly to the Chinese families, and they're listening right now. What would you say to them now? Have strength. Believe that I'm sincere in determining deter and determined to continue the search. And if there's any uh, remote chance, hoping against hope even, praying every day for survivors, um, we will not leave any stones unturned. My appeal to them is that uh, this is bigger than all of us. This is bigger than just one individual country. But uh, with their strength and their understanding, I personally give them that assurance on behalf of my family, on behalf of my ministry, on behalf of the government, and behalf of the Malaysian people. We will not stop looking for the aircraft and their loved ones.